So, hello, good morning. Today, we are going to be trying the Styrian at the start of our vlog. We are in Vietnam, Hanoi. If you can't tell by the background, it's a new place. We'll probably give you a tour tomorrow. And we have been in Southeast Asia for how many months now? Two. Two months. And durian is everywhere. It's on the side of the streets. And so many people in Chiang Mai were eating it and sort of talking about how much we had to try it. And we never did. And there was even a durian buffet, wasn't there, across from mm. where we were staying. But we were always too scared because if you didn't know, durian is called the king of fruit. And it is very stinky. It stink it's stunk out our apartment since we bought it yesterday. And a lot of people hate it because you can get bad durians that taste like garlic yeah. and bio and stuff. And we had the um, we had the sweets in Chiang Mai. Yeah, it tasted like onion. Yeah, it like, tastes like onion. Not good onion. But some people say you know it can taste like custard. It can taste like um, cream. Um, so we picked up this durian. I'm not 100 percent sure what type of durian this is because I know there are lots of different varieties. But the reason we got this one was because it's breaking open, which means it's ripe. Uh, but if you know what type of durian this is, let me know. But is it Ganyao or I don't know, that's the type of durian, I think. Is Mondok Mai a durian or is that a mango? Okay, I, I really am not a durian um, expert, so let me know what type of durian this is. And yeah, we're going to try it now because we never have. But mm, so I let's. I think we could make it out of Asia without trying it. Though. Yeah, but I was like, everywhere we went, I've been like, let's, let's try it. But Alex has always been kind of nervous about it, so. I want to show you us breaking it apart, but I can't, so... Oh, it's spiky. Is there a way to do it? Woo! So that's half of it. And as you can see, this is what it looks like inside, and there are these little sort of pockets. I love how it's like perfectly just laid out for you to take each yeah. little piece. So let's take a piece each. Now, it smells to me, it smells like... It does smell oniony, not gonna lie. It smells. Do I wanna smell it? Yeah, smell it. You gotta smell it, it's part of the process. It smells quite oniony. And look, I'm aware that there are lots of different types of durian and you can get a bad one, and we are not experts. So I think a lot of the problem with durian is people pick the wrong one. So maybe we yeah. might have done that too. That's what people told us. Yeah. Because you have to like really know. So maybe we picked a disgusting one and we'll hate it. Um, but when. We were gonna go and buy one with um, friends who knew about durian, but it never happened. So let's just, without further ado, let's just try it. I'm not even joking. I don't think I can have another piece. I literally felt like I was going to be sick just then. Look, oh, it's making me feel sick. I think we must have picked a bad one. I thought it was a good How one. It looked good. It smelled good. It smelled really good. Why? Well, maybe it smelled good yesterday, and today it smelled bad. Maybe yesterday was the good day. Can that happen? Can it be like really good one day, and the next it's gone off? Because yesterday it smelled like delicious, like when you smell it on the side of the street, it smells like delicious, like almost like jackfruit type of smell. I don't know. The aftertaste, it's like it could be nice, but it's too oniony. Oh. The texture's quite nice. Like I literally nearly <laughs> puked just then. I'm gonna have to like cover my nose. It, I don't like the skin on the top. They got stuff in it, this is just. No, it does. Uh, I can't. I'm sorry. We need to, right, so we went to Chiang Mai and that's where everyone was talking about it. So next year we have to go back to Chiang Mai and get somebody to buy a good durian for oh, us. Here we go to the buffet. I can't. Because that has uh, pineapple as well in the buffet. So. I think maybe, we've, one picked a bad durian, two, maybe it was right yesterday and not today. I don't know if that makes a difference. All you people from Southeast Asia who love durian, explain it to us. Please, because I don't get it. I can't. I wanted to enjoy it so bad because I love the smell of it. Go on, eat it. Why have you opened it like that? Well, well, 
was horrible. I want to hold my nose, but my hands are covered in jury. Oh, you look like you're, you're, your eyes are watering. Yeah, it's not good. Huh? If I blew this through my nose, I'm gonna gag. <laughs> <laughs> We don't. I don't know. I think we just picked a really bad one. Okay, so the <laughs> completes our durian taste test. Now we're gonna take you um, around Hanoi today because we're gonna get up to some. I don't know. We're gonna have a look around. God. So and we'll show you the apartment because look how cool it is. You can see in the background. We'll we'll show you the apartment tomorrow. Alex Ooh. is now gonna go spit that out the toilet. I'll finish it. I'll have the other half. I'm gonna go have something nicer to wash. Yeah, that we're gonna toilet. have some food to wash that down. Oh my god, that was not nice. <sighs> Please give us advice. We won't be able to take that advice until next year, but give us advice for next year. A friend of ours at, in Chiang Mai was like telling us all the different things you have to say when you buy a durian to make sure you get a good one, but we totally forgot. So, <laughs> so what are we going to do with this then? We're going to have to go discard it somewhere. So we had some delicious lunch slash breakfast, so brunch. Alex had bread and bananas and jam. Jam and bread here is just not jam and bread. It just doesn't taste like jam and it doesn't taste like bread. So I didn't have that. I had leftovers from last night. I made like a soup inspired by all the lovely soups we've been having. Um, we were, what were we doing? Cause we were gonna go out this afternoon, but I think we should book our flights. Yeah. Cause we went out yesterday and had a nice day out in Hanoi yesterday, which was really fun. Apart from when the cyclo tried to charge us 500,000, was it? Dong. Dong, and that's $20. That's how much it cost us to get from the airport to here. And we were like, are you kidding? He drove us a mile and he tried to charge us $20. We were like, absolutely no way. His cheeky face. Seriously, they try and rip you off so bad. Anyway, I'd feel better if we like did everything and then went we out. We need to do that. Clear my mind. We're so close. Yeah. To We've been sort of... like been trying to sort this for so long. But it's, it's like it's hard with our bikes. Yeah, getting to America is a bit tricky with bikes. Apparently. Yeah, because well, no, like, like inside. Not the like... airlines are a bit more fussy. They're a bit more specific. I think we figured it out, so we okay. can um, book that all up and then go out to celebrate. Another thing, which you might have seen on our Snapchats, or we might have mentioned it. I don't know if we have mentioned it. There's really serious construction happening outside our house. So this flat we're staying in is absolutely beautiful. I love it, the host is incredible and I'm gonna do a tour of it tomorrow and I definitely recommend you stay here because I don't think that construction is gonna be going on for much longer. And I have no idea why they think it's a smart idea to not do construction in the day because there's nobody there right now. They do it at, from like 10 p.m. till like 3 a.m. And I don't know who thought that was a good idea because this, this is a huge apartment block with loads of families and people. So come. I don't think it's the temperature because it's still like 30 degrees at night. It's crazy. I don't understand it. So we've had really late nights because I just gave up last night and I was just like, I can't sleep. I'm just going to stay up and watch yeah. YouTube videos. So we slept in this morning. So it's already two o'clock. But um, anyway, enough rambling. We have things to do now. Yeah. Boring things. Boring things. Oof. Right, so it is the evening now, and we've booked our flights, everything's sorted, and we're just going out to get some dinner. It's been quite a long day. There are so many places to choose from to eat that are vegan and vegetarian here that we like couldn't decide, which is amazing. I didn't think that, that would be the case. There's literally so many vegetarian places and loads of vegan places. So we've opted for a place that is um, a buffet because we're really hungry. So we thought that could be fun and we're just getting an Uber there. But look how local the place we're staying is. Heat and 
Hanoi is even more so than other places we've been. It's so hot here, like you walk out and it's like you're in a, an oven. Why is your plate so little? I've learned this from buffets. I always get too much the first time. I want to explore everything. I am very happy with this. Especially because it's local, because a lot of the places we've been going to recently, everyone in them is Western. It's kind of cool to be sitting yeah. and hanging with, the, hanging with the locals. A lot of mock meat, isn't it? Mm. It's like spicy sausage. Yum. as our little mid-dinner snack. <laughs> um, but this was, I think on the review for this place, it said the fur was really good, so. Mm. It's my favorite thing in the whole of Asia, just in general, all the different countries we've been to, it's always the soup, the sort of broths and soups, and I always try the, like every single time. Like, if there's soup on the menu, I'll buy it because it's my favourite and I really want to go home and learn to how, how to cook all of them. I made one last night, didn't I? Nice. It was really nice. We made it with limited ingredients but it turned out pretty good so time for round two. <laughs> How are you feeling, Alex? I love, I know when you're full, when you chew your food loads, like you leave it in your mouth for ages, and you have like a lump in your cheek, that's when you're really full. I know how I'm gonna eat it all. <laughs> there we go, I've done so well. I'm still eating. Are you? Ew. Oh my god, I'm so full. Sorry, Just realised we need water, so we're going back out again. We've got the goods. Yay, boy. I like this area. Me too, it's kind of happening. I was just saying to Alex, it'd be good if I still like wine, because there's a wine bar right, up, right outside where we're staying. Yeah. And before when I used to drink, I used to be a big wine drinker, so that would have been a tick for me. That, Alex just told me that Uber cost 30p. What, was it actually 30p? Yeah, you got, you got 20,000 dong off your first three rides. Even so, it's only a pound. But didn't you still have to pay him? Yeah, I had to pay him eight thousand dollars. So I tipped him. I tipped him twelve thousand because I'm a big baller. <laughs> oh.